Yo, um, we're gonna let him take a little bit of line. The, the, the idea is when he's straight up and down, where not much is going on, it's only hurting you, not hurting the fish. So we'll let a little bit of line go out, just a few meters, see if it'll change the course of the fight, get a little different angle on it. Sure. Now Vic's been on this fish for about 45 minutes now and it's been very dogged, hanging deep, it's having a lot of trouble getting it up. Obviously when a fish is straight out it's a lot easier to wind in, when they're hanging down it's very very hard on the angler to get the line. Here he comes, we better watch this. Rick's technique worked and Vic started to win some line back. It's a game of inches now, isn't it? Yeah, it is exactly what it is, mate. You've got to get every inch you can. All the beautiful water we've been in all day. The battle continued to seesaw for another hour and the fish was showing few signs of tiring. Then all of a sudden Vic started to make easy meters and the leader broke the surface. There were some anxious moments as an exhausted Vic got a wrap of line around his rod tip. It was a massive blue marlin that looked to be around 200 kilos. After a couple of quick photos, Vic released his fish and the great marlin swam away. Well, champion! Awesome! <laughs> What a fish! Awesome fish! <coughs> Great fish! I couldn't even hold its weight, eh? Just yeah. there on the bill, mate. My hand was just okay. Two, two hours, Bill. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. You're kidding me? Just over two hours. Hey, it feels like about half hour, honestly. Yeah. <coughs> Best feeling of life, eh? Hey? <laughs> and your beer. Trolling with lures is a great way to fish for marlin and other game fish. Black Magic has developed a range of lures in conjunction with top anglers and charter boat skippers. 
These lures feature colours and head designs that have proved successful again and again. When trolling, you normally set a pattern of four to six lures at various distances behind the boat. The aim is to make it appear that there is activity like fish feeding behind the boat that game fish will investigate. Lures should be trolled between five and ten knots and set so they break the surface at different times. One of the favoured spots to set a lure is in front of the waves in the wake. Black Magic lures are available professionally rigged, or if you prefer, you can customise the rigging to suit your needs. There's a few things to remember when you catch an undersized fish. Firstly, whether the fish is dead or alive, he has to go back into the water. If you're unsure of the size, what we need you to do is measure him. We want you to do that carefully so that uh, the fish can go back into the water in the best state possible. If you do have to remove the fish from the water, grab yourself a pair of these cotton gloves, they're $1.50 from your local garden centre, really easy to have on board. Just wet them and use these to hold the fish with. If you have to bring the fish into the boat, lie the fish on a damp, soft, wet surface, it's the best place to have the fish. If you keep catching small fish, remember to change to a larger hook size. If possible, minimise the time that the fish are out of the water. When you remove the hook from the fish, do it carefully. If the fish is gut hooked, cut the line. When it comes time to return the fish to the sea, do it gently, don't throw the fish into the water.